Chapter 7 Algorithm and Flowchart Algorithm An algorithm can be defined as a set of rules that can be followed step by step to execute a task or to achieve the desired result. These tasks can be logical or mathematical. Important Characteristics of an Algorithm Input An algorithm requires some input values to produce an output. It should have zero or more precise values. Output An algorithm must result in one or more outputs. An ambiguity An ambiguity means that there should not be any other interpretation of the steps. Every step of the algorithm must be specified, and the algorithm must follow the order of each step in the process. Finiteness An algorithm must terminate or end after a finite number of steps. Effectiveness The steps specified in the algorithm must be appropriate and feasible. Any repeated or unnecessary steps might lead to an ineffective algorithm. Language independent, the steps in the algorithm must only be dependent on the concept and not the language of the code. It must be able to execute regardless of the programming language. Uses of an algorithm Data processing Computer and mathematical operations Manipulation of data Writing an algorithm we construct an algorithm by specifying the most suitable combination of steps to receive the desired output. Examples Algorithm to find the sum, difference, and product of two numbers. Step 1. Start Step 2. Read two numbers and store the input values in A and B. Step 3. Add the value of A and B. Step 4. Print the sum. Step 5. Subtract value of B from the value of A. Step 6. Print the difference. Step 7. Multiply the values of A and B. Step 8. Print the product. Step 9. Stop. Algorithm to find the largest value out of two numbers. Step 1. Start. Step 2. Read two numbers and store the input values in A and B. Step 3. Compare the value of A and B. If B A, print B is largest. Go to step 5. Step 4. Compare the value of A and B. If A B, print A is largest. Go to step 5. Step 5. Stop. Flowcharts Flowchart is a graphical diagram which represents an algorithm. It follows a set of instructions to complete a specific task or process. Flowcharts can be used to analyze design, document or manage a process or program. Through flowcharts, we can display a sequence of instructions of a single program. It plays a vital role in the field of programming. We can easily grasp the logic of complicated or lengthy problems. It is hassle-free to write a program in any of the high-level languages once the flowchart is drawn. Symbols used in flowcharts We use different symbols to draw different types of flowcharts. Let us learn about these symbols. Start Stop it is used to represent the start and end points of the flowchart. It generally contains the words start or stop. Process It represents a process or an action. It is the most used symbol in flowcharts. Decision It indicates a question or a decision. It is used to represent two options, yes, no. Input output it indicates the information entering or leaving the system, I input and output. Flow linen, arrow, connect. It shows the direction in which the process flows.
Connector Inspection A connector is used to show a jump from one point to another in a flowchart. Rules to draw flowcharts A flowchart must be neat, clean, and easy to understand. The flow must be maintained from left to right or top to bottom. There should only be one flow line deriving from a process symbol. Only one flow line should enter the decision symbol, but two flow lines should leave the decision box. A flowchart must have a logical start and end. Advantages of flowcharts It ensures better understanding of a problem. It enables a programmer to analyze the problem in detail. Let us understand through examples of simple flowcharts. Flowchart to calculate simple interest. Start. Read P for principal R for rate T for time. Calculate C is equal to P asterisk R asterisk T 100. Print C. Stop. Solving problems using algorithms and flowcharts. Process of making tea. Start. Take a pan, water, sugar, tea leaves and milk. Put the pan on the gas stove and pour water. Turn on the flame. Add tea leaves and sugar when the water starts boiling. Add milk. Boil for some time and turn off the flame. Serve it in a cup and enjoy hot tea. Stop. 